Hey guys, what's up? And I'm here. I hope you're all doing very well. In this video, I thought I would share my experiences of being a master's student here in Canada. I also have an interview with a friend who came from Mumbai, India to pursue his studies here. This video will have a lot of content. I will also talk about my lifestyle here in Montreal and also a bit about my thesis. So let's begin. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I make vids on many engineering topics which are practical and can be benefit you guys and girls in school and in the workplace. I try and be very application oriented. So if you are interested in things like control system design, simulation, modeling and analysis, be sure to subscribe. I'm currently in my second year Master of Applied Sciences at Concordia University, which is in Montreal in Quebec. And I've been here since September 2019. I also did my undergraduate degree at McMaster, which is located in Hamilton. There's also a major school here. And I also did mechanical engineering there. I had two internships and a full-time job for a year before I came to Montreal. So living in Montreal is fun. I wake up around 7 a.m. every day and I make my own breakfast like eggs and milk and bread and all that kind of stuff, you know, like it's good, good stuff. Living here is not very expensive, but food is expensive compared to the U.S., for example. So uh, most of us, like all my friends, including me, shop our own food. I shop at the market for chicken and fish and rice. And um, I try and eat a balanced diet. I'm sure if you have looked at many health people, they say that a balanced diet is the key. So because especially for engineering field, the work can be very mentally stressful. So my thesis topic is in the field of MPC or model predictive control. This is a type of control scheme where you have operational constraints on your system and you have to solve for the inputs based on constrained quadratic optimization. If that's all jargon to you, if you look at a, a car, for example, right, the car's wheels can only turn a certain angle and also the wheels can only turn at a certain speed because otherwise you, you might risk damaging the suspension system. So that's when you have to use MPC and you have many inputs affecting many outputs. So MPC is a very useful tool for that. The lab is located in the mechanical engineering building at Concordia. It's in the basement, so it's quite big. So this lab is where we do all of our experiments on. We have a bunch of unmanned aircraft there, the FA-18, the Bixler UAV and the Airbus back there. This part of the lab, we have quadcopters. Our lab does do a lot of research in quadcopter control system design and fault detection and diagnosis. Here we have two joysticks for manual inputs. Down here we have a hexacopter, which means that it has six propellers, as you can see there. Behind that are a bunch of robots, and here we have a few more quadcopters. So this lab is the hardware section of our research. An experimental apparatus can be found here where we can do a bunch of assembling of parts and we can just set up our aircraft so we can test them outside. Canada does have drone laws, so before we test something, we do have to make sure that we have the required authorization and permission from the authorities. Otherwise, it is illegal to you know just take a drone out and fly it. So yeah. Now I have an interview with a friend. His name is Mikhail, and I asked him about his life in Canada. He actually came all the way from Mumbai in India to pursue his master's in mechanical engineering also at Concordia. So we talked about a few things. I asked him about his life adjusting here along with how he actually worked at Bombardier as an aerospace engineering intern in Dynamics. So I talked about that as well. And he has many tips to offer you so that you can come here and adjust to life here easily along with some tips how to manage the workload and learn new things. So let's begin now the interview. Note that before we start, I do have English subtitles in the interview. So for some of you, if English is not your first language, I hope it helps. So I did my bachelor's uh, back home in India. And uh, in aerospace engineering, there aren't a lot of uh, opportunities uh, to do a master's. Uh, also, the quality of education here in uh, Canada is it's way better. The better idea. Better than and also, like, years. back home, the one thing is that there's so many people, but then there's only a set a num seats, number yeah. of seats on an annual basis. So it's like the combination is, like, insane, you know, and then yep. and you have to be on, like, super insanely good to get in. Yep. And also, like, it's not worth it because it's, like, 
back home it's like you're confined to your country but then if you come here you have a lot more opportunities exactly yeah. so it's much better to and be here, uh, right? another factor was uh, montreal being a hub for aerospace it's, it definitely a major is a hub, hub yeah, yeah. I sent I spent uh, 8 months in uh, dynamics mm-hmm, right. dynamic dynamic section and uh, yeah I learned a lot a lot of stuff man yeah uh, like I uh, previously I didn't have any uh, uh, industrial experience especially in the aerospace industry right okay and yeah so this was my first internship so like yeah. that must have been a big step right because especially coming from back home to like a new place and then yeah. you also get a job in the field so that's like yeah. a big step up right yep yep so Uh, yeah. But like I was fortunate to get an internship uh, in a core engineering. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Like the one thing about the the co-ops is that there's so many jobs which are not not the main engineering field, and yeah. then and then they make you do like you know non technical stuff, which isn't the best part. But yeah, so like, yeah. You know. Don't be too specific. But like, which software did you use like in in the most like? Uh yeah. So most of my uh, work uh, was concerning uh, FEA. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I basically uh, use the industry standard. That's right, okay. uh, MSC Nastran. Nastran, yeah. Uh, as the FES solver. Like I only do answers, so I mean, I guess it's not. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it's fine. It doesn't matter, right? And yeah. for post processing, uh, it was uh, Patron. Hypermesh. Oh, okay, Patron. never mind. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I think Nastran and Patron they work in sync, right? So. Yep. It's a similar thing. And uh, I had a few uh, optimization loops to run, and those were done using Simula Eyesight. I only know Simula in MATLAB, right? So I mean, yeah, yeah. Use that. But the thing is, even I didn't know like uh, until the point that I actually had to work with the software. They teach you like on the job a lot of things. Exactly. Uh, most good, of the stuff good, yeah. was uh, learning on the go. So to someone back home, especially like in India, who wants to c- come here for grad school and you know like they want to specialize in something, what tips would you give them? Uh, so yeah, for your first few semesters, uh, at, at least for your first semester, uh, I'd say take it slow. Right. Uh, right. It, yeah, you need time to get used to uh, the method of teaching uh, in Canada. Like I didn't stay in India per se, but still, I know of people there yeah. who have had a tough time trans- transitioning from India to here, especially the different lifestyle, different exactly. teaching skills, and all that. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it's a lot more res- responsibility on you, right? Yeah, it's, it's more. It's, yeah. it's more like self thought, right? So, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll just say that uh, don't uh, like take it easy. Uh, don't rush into it. Uh, you have two years and make the best of it. Yeah, like okay. I would say, I'm like learn as much as you can. Exactly. Yeah. Stay on top of your stuff. Like don't slack off because then bad. Yeah. Things will go down, down yeah. right? <laughs> you guys already know me. So now, in regards to the living situation here, you have many options to choose from. You can either decide to live on your own, like me. or you can have roommates as well so if you have a roommate you will benefit from paying less money and less rent but if you live alone you have that benefit too correct so my building is very good cuz it has a gym it has a pool and a deck i use those facilities almost every single day apartment quality will vary from building to building so be- behind me you can see the concordia building at night um it is quite empty now because the school the school is obviously shut and lectures are being moved online so it's more than 20 floors high and uh it's, it's quite big right so this building will open i believe next year when the school's open again and i do used to go to my concordia gym but that's closed now so i i go to the gym on um, on st catherine street it's called econo fitness if you are looking for a good gym membership in montreal like i would say that econo fitness is very good all right guys so being in montreal is friendly a lot of fun You can see behind me here is Crescent Street, one of the main spots here at night. I mean, it's not that busy now, especially with what's going on. But we just hope that things become normal again and it gets packed here, because it is quite packed here, especially Labor Day weekend and Halloween and stuff. So, I mean, it is getting better now. The Quebec governor has made some rules that you can't um, you can't drink past 1 a.m. or something, and you can't dance. You know, so. Yeah, I've never actually filmed in public before, so it's kind of scary. But I mean, for this YouTube channel, I would do anything, you know. So things are kind of normal now, but they definitely aren't the way they were back in January. So, so guys, I'm now on Saint Catherine Street in, in downtown Montreal, just like a block away from my house. And this street is where all the activities are. You you can have a lot of. There are many places to eat here. Like you have Indian food, Korean food, Chinese food, like. any cuisine that you wish you can get here you also have a lot of shopping for clothes and garments and like all that so you will find that you can do all of your shopping in a very closely packed area which is very beneficial 
you know, for me, when I first came to Montreal, I didn't know anyone. It was very hard for me to adapt. But like after a week or so, I found it much better. I do love being here. It's an outstanding place to live. And I did make a lot of friends here and I had a lot of good experiences. So I do look forward to ending this year on a positive note. You know, despite what's going on in this world, it's very negative. I'm all about being positive and doing my best in every situation. So I hope to continue that. Concordia has been a good experience so far and I do hope to end my thesis next year. I should be done next year and I hope to work somewhere like after that. So that should be, hope that turns out well. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below. And, and if you watch all the way to the end, I do appreciate it very much. And I thank you from sincerely. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.